Welcome back to the channel people Welcome back to another video If you guys are new to the channel Please remember to hit the subscribe button And thank you guys for coming over here And supporting Yeah man, big up on yourself So As you guys may know from The last few videos You would probably know that um um doing a bit of renovations on my house actually i'm just looking for something yeah man so guess what happened now um i had to remove all the furniture from this place i'm currently in the process to um removing these tiles this was one of the biggest problems that I have in here as for why I'm doing a renovation right now. So I'm not sure how much you guys are able to see. So all I have to do is just push something on it like this. See that? Yeah. See that? That's the problem I've been having in this place. You hear that difference? This part is solid. All of that part is hollow and it continues throughout the entire space. So, yeah. I have some new tiles outside there that will be going on this floor over the past or the next sorry over the next few days so i'm not sure how much of um, cooking or adventure content i'll be able to create since i'm gonna be here um helping out the workman that's gonna be working here so maybe over the next few days most of the content uploading are just renovation content right yeah man so Big up on yourself. And right now, actually, I've got to prepare something, so maybe I'll just record a bit of that. Um, waiting for a jackhammer to come here because the new tile is going to be a bit thicker than this one, so I have to remove a bit of this old tin set that's already on here so that I can get some new tin set laid. You know, I uh, want part right down here. So this is just my tabletop. I had to remove the epoxy top from this. I'm actually running out of space and where to put these things. So I mind that. Yeah, this is one of the spots. Here, and it gets solid here. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you guys get the memo. That was a problem in this place. So, yeah. I'm currently now just waiting for the guy to come in with the jackhammer and start um, chiseling up or digging up all of this old tile and get rid of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, without further ado, we have some, maybe about two pounds or a pound and a half 
just feeling a bit hungry and I just took out the nearest thing that my hand could reach in the fridge and it was all covered in um, ice so I didn't even realize it was pork I think it was chicken so yeah and I have a container in here as well with some frozen peas and coconut milk which I did the last time I was cooking rice and peas I was looking about too much and I just scooped out some so I go on it's all frozen so right now I'm going to this out get it in a pot with a little bit of rice this is already seasoned yeah skelly and thyme everything in it. it it was just looking a bit too much the day that i was cooking it and i just decided to just scoop some out so that on a day like today i could have used them yeah so right now everything is a bit frozen so i'm just getting some water i need to thaw them out a bit so we can start with something because yesterday was sunday i didn't cook yesterday i was at Lee's place, which you guys should have um, already know if you guys were up to date with the, the live stream video and all of that. Yeah, man, we did some epic live stream from Lee's place. And the latest video on the channel, we arrived video that, um, that grave being built in a room that's I think it's about this big, if not bigger, but that was a first for me. First, I've been uh, witness something like that in person. Normally, I see it a lot on um, maybe on TikTok or something, people videoing it all across the world. But here in Jamaica, it's the first time me to witness something like that. Anyways, big up on yourself. When the jack camera comes, I'll try to keep you guys posted as much in regards to this um, renovation business and also maybe me doing a little one and two video in terms of the cooking as me not sure what I'm going to do with the pork yet but stay tuned nevertheless I'm going to go get the video so big up on yourself when I said space are killing me people take a look at this this is my veranda and this is what I had to do with the couches I had to be stacking them up on each other. I wanted to give you guys a bit of reveal on the, 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 the tiles, but um, stay tuned for that. <laughs> and I have a nice design tile to go in the center. So, yeah, stay tuned for that also. Yeah, man, you go look good. Everything all look good. You don't know. Well, young people are kind of know how to do things. So, big up on yourself. Alright guys, so for this part of the video, the jackhammer that we were using was a bit too loud, but I was just showing. My friend of mine is going from the left to the center, and I'm going from the right to the center. So, we would eventually meet in the middle. Alright, so how he start? His half was at any of my concern now i was just showing here now how easy the tin set which is underneath the tile which is what should have been holding the tiles to the ground how easily it was being removed with my hand and not a jackhammer here right this stuff is pretty solid like um, concrete solid so you get the picture it shouldn't be that easy to remove Alright, as for this part, I was just trying to take up an next piece because for some reason I feel like Hercules and it wasn't working at all, so yeah. Yeah man, that I vibes, you know, renovation continue. Day two, day two for many people. So, I did start last night. Well, I'm not sure again. I'm not sure yet. We did start last night, but... 
don't know you have to respect people sleeping hours so I kind of did have to just cut for a minute till this morning I resume so people you see when you get a tile a tile your house a tile make sure you understand your assignment here yeah? because what I'm going in us right now you come here and call paint and put on the tile I tell them <laughs> everything I get up Everything, things set everything I get up back. It means I can literally use my hand and take up enough part time. One and two part time kind of solid as the rest. Easy, easy. So, big up on yourself. Stay tuned on the see finished product. See Check in. Oh my God! Big up on yourself. You know, see what we have to go through in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes we get some professional to come in for do the work. The man you over there, so we are my friends. So we set him a tile. See, he go back for the because he choose to give somebody that is certified and know how or have the knowledge. You know, in terms of what they're doing, look at this mess. You know how expensive it this this go be right now if you tile over about this place. Madness. Yeah, man, so there are two people. I tell you, the tin set under this style is getting up way too easy. Half of these places right now, Jack and I haven't been able to touch. Then just not get it. So my bridging over there so I come towards me and I'm going towards him so um we go meet in the middle. Yeah. That is it. Yes, you just have to hold out and out till current is back. Big up on yourself. So I go on people. My living room is a mess. Not to mention in the kitchen when we have an undo it right now. Living room is a mess. But we are going to check it out. If we don't complete today, must complete tomorrow. Mm. Alright guys, so just ended the live stream. I'm about to show the result for today. See it. so if you guys were on the live stream, I'm gonna show you guys what I want. See it. Looked a bit impossible this morning, but basically I only have here at the doorway. I actually have to use my tile cutter to just mark it here so that when I'm removing this part, it doesn't have to kind of move it to it. And it's the same thing for all the entrance to charge here. I don't want to damage anything. So, for the same, I'll just put the tile cutting disc on the angle grinder. This one out here will be tied as well, so I didn't have to take any necessary precautions here. Yeah, man, so I think we'll finish the product for the two. Right now, I'm just gonna 
pack up the tools and put them in the corner. Tomorrow we're going to start by removing some of the debris that, that's here. After we do the removal, then I'm going to get my level line placed so that I can see all the high spots and that I can just go to the junk of my just knock them down. There will be a few places in here that's going to be too low because one spot for example. This is one of the spots. Right. This part of the spot here is about three and a half inches. Alright, that is so look at this. You can see that this is about three inches. Oh. So what I tend to do tomorrow, I will mix a little bit of concrete, find all the low spots and I'll just fill them a bit with a little bit of concrete first. I'll give it a day to dry. As soon as they are dry, then I can come in with the tiles and clean the concrete. When you are going to give the tiler or a tiler a job, make sure he understands the assignment because the tiler will pass through this piece and this way right now. I can't even classify this tiler as a carpenter or a mechanic because, listen, you must have common sense. I know that whatever it is that you're doing, you're doing it wrong. No matter which um, career you're doing. I am no tiler, certified tiler. I've done tiling job on my house before, and it's nothing like this. You understand? I have a few people which I'm not sure which one of them I'm going to do. Due to the size tiler that I have, I've been getting mixed prices. Right? I was given a price the other day because. The workman thought I was using like a standard 12 by 12 style Right? I'm not using a standard 12 by 12 style Look at this That's one Right? And if you flip this over That's two So From here to here It's not 12 It's double So That's 24 12 and 12 now look at this direction, right? Each time I flip the tire, I try to make sure it's not to slide it down. Now look at this. That's two tires. So 12 and 12. That's 24. Uh, another flip. That's 24. Right? So we're what? Uh, 36. Alright. So this is four tires in line and two in width. Or if you want to do it vice versa, that's fine. Right? So this tire that I'm using here, they are really big. And not a lot of conclusions. And I want them to be exceptional as well. So, sometimes when you want to. I wish I wasn't struck by Cupid. I wish when I first saw you, I knew this. When I'm with you, I feel so used to Especially with all the expenses that I've been hearing. Yeah, maybe I do. I will definitely get professionals to come in here to get me to get it started. And afterwards, maybe I feel So, your boy not only can cook, I can do a whole lot of things. Anyway. You yeah, that's for that. As for what I have here in the box, after the, the floor is starting the tile, I'll lay out that tile, however, is practically half of it. So where this line is, this size tile is practically half of this. What I'm going to do with that tile, I have eight of those because out here will be tiles as well as in there. That will be going in the center for our design. Seen, so that are the design that 
that will be dropping dead center and they're at, out here on my ground. Anyways, that is it for today's video. Yeah man, catch you guys on day three. So big up on yourself, see you? Yeah.